Uh, we're off to the airport, um, just signed a new deal. Um, pretty excited for the opening round in Sydney. It's gonna be a big game, can't wait to have a big crowd and um, hopefully get a win first round. Uh, yeah, I feel yeah, pretty pumped. There's nowhere I'd, I'd rather be. A um, Couple more years at the Red and Blue. Yeah, I love everything about it, so I'm just really happy to, to be sticking around for a couple more years. The next step for me, I think, is my leadership. Um, something I find I do naturally, but it's something I can probably take that next step forward in that sort of area. Um, I think, yeah, I've got big shoes to fill with, with Gus not being here anymore. I think I can be someone who can step up in that area um, and, yeah, really try to push the younger group along. Um, so that would be one thing I'm definitely looking forward to. Um, yeah, definitely, yeah, wrapped to be in a position to um, be a leader at the club and I just want to keep doing it, so. Yeah, I think naturally, uh, I'm more of like a, like a lead by example sort of operator. Um, I'm not the most vocal person, I wouldn't say, in the group. Similar to Jack Viney, I think he's a lot, he's, he leads by example the way he plays and his, yeah. his habits on and off the field. I think he leads away in that space. Um, but the next step for me would be you know, speaking up a bit more and, and voicing my opinions a bit more, I think that could be pretty valuable to the group. Um, yeah, but definitely naturally, I just like like to do it by example and show the young guys how, how it's done. Goody is really big on creating elite habits. I think that's the first thing he tells the young boys when they first come in. Um, yeah, there's only so much you can do on field, but a lot of the time you're away from the club um, and it's how good your habits are off the field, I think is really important. Um, so I'm doing commerce at the moment. Um, so I'm maybe a year in. As much as, as it is not very motivating to be doing it, I actually, once I'm, I've actually done it, I feel pretty, feel pretty good about myself to actually have switched off and you know, been productive um, outside, of, outside of the club. As being a leader, you also want to make sure that performance is on field to stay high. Um, I think, I think that's one of the best ways to earn respect and trust from the group is to maintain on-field performances. You see someone like Jack and Max, um, Christian, uh, Jake Lever, all these guys, Alex Nilborn, strong on-field performances every week. They're super trustworthy and I think the playing group really respects that from them. Yeah. So I think for me, um, there's a little bit of chat about emerging leaders and stuff like that for myself. But I also want to make sure that when it comes to crunch time, then I'm still making sure that I'm performing on field really well. Yeah, like that's um, yeah I think that's the main um, marker to tick off. Um, and then from there, you can bring others along with you. Um, they can really trust you. Um, so I think that's extremely important um, for myself. I think oh, getting out of your own head is super important. Um, so, you know, talking to the other teammates, um, trying to help them. It's funny how it works. Most of the time, if you go to go out of your way to help someone else, I feel like you get something back yeah. um, a lot of the time. Um, for me, if I'm not having the best game or haven't had a great quarter, I, I just try and tell myself to have fun. I feel like I play the best when I'm just having fun yeah. and not thinking about it. Yeah. Um, so that's like an individual thing that I do, but yeah, getting out of your own head, helping someone else. Um, you might not be touching the ball heaps, but there are other things that we value as a club that that really matter. Um, so you can still have an impact if you're not touching the ball and stuff like that, but definitely going out of your way to help someone else. And I find it yeah, funny how it comes back to um, help you in a way. You're only 23. Yeah. Do you realise how young you are? No, well, like in I terms always, of your career? I feel pretty lucky to be honest. Especially with the premiership, I think. Some players don't even get a chance yeah. to play in one and I was pretty lucky to I feel pretty privileged to have had that chance. So like yeah, I mean, I always look at the young boys as well and just like, oh, I wish I was their age again. Like, 19, 20, like, just like having fun. Like, not that I'm not having fun, but it sort of feels like you're becoming a more senior player when every year you've got an 18 year old or whatever coming into the club. Yeah. I'm still pretty young, like, in my career at yeah. just like 
as a person. But yeah, it's like I would say, I'm pretty happy with what I've achieved so far, but I want to get more. I think it's everyone's goal, but is to win another premiership. I would 100% love to win another one of them. Um, I think everyone does. And it's so hard, like, it's all anyone's trying to achieve in the whole league, so. Yeah. Um, that would be a goal. And do you think that, this is a, obviously a, basically a rhetorical question, but like, do you think that you have the talent and the game plan to do that? Yeah, definitely. I think, I think the way we play stacks up in big, big games. Um, so the last couple of years, we've, we haven't had the success that we've wanted, but I mean, that's the result of a couple of kicks maybe here and there, and a few little instances. But I think the way we play stacks up. We defend really well. We have a really strong contest. We've got the personnel, we've got the coaches. Um, there's nothing more that I think we need to be able to win a premiership. And there's no reason why we can't do it. So look, I'm really excited, like with the young talent as well, um, coming through. I think there's a really core cool group of, of young players that have, um, I mean, you look at the back line, you've got a lot of young players down there, Jake Bowie, Judd, Trent, um, these sort of guys that are all younger than younger than me, so I'm pretty excited to see what what we have to offer, and like this year especially, and for the future. I think it's I think it's really exciting for myself as a player because I'll hopefully be involved or will be involved in the next three years at least. Um, but if you're a fan and supporter, I think it's going to be really exciting to see what we've got. So I'd be buying a membership. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>